Hey everyone, this is Ron from eCoverSoftwarePro.com. This video will cover how to slice an image using GIMP. Um, just like Photoshop creates uh, slices that you can use for web templates, uh, GIMP has a similar function, uh, very handy, and uh, what you need to do is create guides to show where you want the image to be sliced. In order to do that, just go to Image, Guides, New Guide, and you're going to measure by pixels from the top or from the left, depending on whether you're adding a horizontal or vertical guide. So if I want a horizontal guide about 200 pixels down, I'll just select horizontal, put 200, click OK, and you can see my new guide here. Anyway, once you have that set up, you can uh, ask GIMP to slice your image for you. All you need to do is go to Image, Transform, and Guillotine. And once I click that, just watch the uh, top left of the screen. Alright, so what it did was it took each section here and created a separate file. This is the right side which went right here about in the image and I don't need it so I'm just going to close it and not save. This is my front image and I'm going to go ahead and save that down as a JPEG. So file, save as. You can choose your file type here. You can see I have JPEG selected. I'm going to type front.jpg. Save that. Export it and then save. Now, I always save at 100%. If you want to have this as your default, just slide your slider to 100 and click Save Defaults. Save. Now I can close that up. Next, I have my side image, and I'll go File, Save As, Side.jpg, Export, and Save. And this is a corner image which we don't need. It's just created by the slicing feature, the guillotine feature, so don't save. This is my top image, so I'll go and file save as top.jpg. And that's it. I mean, I just created the three pieces I need for eCover Software Pro to make my covers. And I can close out this final square and save. And we loaded those exact pieces up into eCover Software Pro. That's our side, front, top image creating a box. And you, know, you can just go through and select what cover you want. All of these different shapes. You know, if we want a, a kind of a magazine, you just hit apply and you have your cover created instantly and just save it down. Again, you also have, you know, you can make a book, a thick book here. It's really that easy once you create your, your pieces. Uh, so you can see our example images that we created here using the software. And if you have any questions, email us at support at ecover softwarepro.com Thank you very much.